Boys, welcome back. We got week three edition, power rankings, Rock City football. Glad to be here with everybody tonight. Down here in the war room, the commissioner here, ready to go through another week of just amazing action, beautiful stuff out of most of us, some of us, absolutely out there doing work. Uh, let's get right into it, you know. Let's see, uh, last week, Last week of September here, we're rolling into a uh, rolling into sober October, so I'm gonna absolutely fucking floor it tonight. Uh, we're just gonna get piss pounded. I'm half piss pounded right now. We're just gonna absolutely douse it. I'm gonna parent guilty tomorrow morning. I'm gonna wake up and make eggs and bacon for the kids and not want to talk to them. Uh, don't act like the fucking Mias and Reagans of the world have never had to do that. The fucking Averys, well, not so much anymore. She's probably like, Dad, stop drinking caffeine in the morning. You've had 30 bang energies. You got to relax. But hey, it's neither here nor there. I'm going to parent guilty. We're going to fucking floor it tonight. Drinking my goddamn fucking high noon out of a glass. About to get into it here. Swami last week, 5-1 and one in my picks. Absolutely crushed my previous fucking record from the week before. Uh, you know... Only game I got wrong was Muffin Stuffers getting upset by that fucking clown call me daddy. But hey, can't get them all right. 5-1 and one last week brings me to 7-5 and five on the year. Uh, pretty good. We'll see how the predictions roll at the end of the night tonight. Um, last week, EH Brawler digsing it out. Both absolutely shit pumped their opponents. Uh, trying to make a bid for the number one spot. Both of them. Uh, both made a good case for themselves last week. So as we roll down the rankings from 12 to 1 later, you guys are going to be able to see who ends up number 1. I'm telling you now, it's going to be one of those two guys. They both fucking deserve it. Let's see who gets it. Um, in other news, Harrison Buckner is a free agent. Finally, Drew Peacock decided to cut him loose after keeping him on his IR for the first 20 weeks of the year. So he's hobbling around out there. If somebody wants the kicker from the Chiefs that's sitting on their bench fucking hurt, uh, he's out there. So good for you, Drew Peacock. You finally came to your senses. Uh, speaking of wave warrior people and not coming to their senses, yours truly has something that none of you will probably ever have. And that is a quarterback who got punched in the face by their own teammate and was out for six to ten weeks because he said something to Ikamana Akabapala, that nice Italian linebacker for the Jets back in the day. He must have said something about his mom's Sunday gravy and he came through and popped fucking Gino in the jaw and Gino Smith was out for six to ten weeks and now he's on Cowboy Killers slinging it around out there, hopefully not talking shit to any of his teammates. He's going to sit on my bench until he's needed, but I thought it was funny that I own fucking Geno Smith. What an absolute dire situation that is. Uh, other dire waiver moves this week. Uh, Ditka used his waiver on a defense and a kicker, like using the fucking Willy Wonka golden ticket to go to goddamn Seabreeze. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. That defense scored two points on Thursday. So Dick, on my continued disappointment, you have not let me down in that faction of letting me down. So way to keep it up. With that said, boys, let's get right into it. But not until get some advertising out of the way. Of course, I almost dropped the fucking can. <laughs> High noons. Black cherry flavor this week. It's a little bit pink when you pour it in a glass. I pour it in a glass because I'm even classier than the drink itself, which is already super fucking classy. High Noons, beautiful can. It's not Labatt Blue Light Seltzer. It's not twisted teas in a can like you're in a line dancing competition in fucking Tennessee just with fucking Betty and she hacks marb lights and you're going to make out with her, you sick fucks. High Noons, classy, keeping it fucking classy. Right there, High Noons. Speaking of keeping it classy, sponsored by Illy Espresso. Espresso. It's not espresso, you fucking slouches. Espresso. Illy. It's imported. It comes in a can. I wish you could smell it. It smells like the fucking morning. I don't even drink coffee and I love this shit. 
comes. They help pay for the podcast today. My wife drinks it. She's fucking classy. You say other way. Why is I'll come out black your fucking eyes? Illy coffee. God damn it. You think I'm angry now? Wait until sober October comes. I'm going to be fucking running down all of your fucking asses. Here we go. You boys ready to start her up? Let's get her cracking. We're going to start with number 12 this week in the podcast, in the power rankings, the vlog, whatever you want to call this thing. Cruising on Colorado Kool-Aid. Buddy, you're number 12. You're absolutely brutal. Last week you were ranked number 11. You lost to me somehow. I had an awful week. You had an awfuler week. Um, I just want you to remember, you won a championship in this league. I want you to keep that in the forefront of your mind. Live in the good times because your team is terrible. And you're not going to get there this year. So just live in the good times. Live in the good memories, bud. Maybe come back next year and don't. Whatever you did before the draft this year, do the opposite next year. So you're number 12 in the power rankings. You stink. Number 11, the bear traps. Last week, you were ranked number eight. Uh, On the first week of the rankings, you were ranked number seven. And uh, I got some quotes here. Uh, This team was once called pretty good. Um, This team was also called the best sleeper team in the league by someone. Some idiot, some dumbass, oh, me. I fucking said it, stupid idiot. Your team stinks. Um, Bottom of the barrel shit. You're down into the 11th spot in the power rankings, deservedly so. Um, Gonna need to step it up for the rest of the year, bear traps, or else you're gonna live down there. Tough start to the year. Drew Peacock, uh, you got your your grave digs last week by my brother, and I can't foresee anything else happening. Uh, Russell Wilson's your quarterback. I don't know how far his head is jammed up Ciara's fucking vagina or if he's just in a cloud of medicinal marijuana in Colorado, if the altitude's getting to him, if he thinks he's the weekend and he's been focusing on his fucking music career. I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. He stinks. He leads your team. Your team stinks. You're number 10 down from number 9. Slid down a spot you lost last week. Ditka called it. Called it. Called it on the uh, on the pod, on the power rankings last week. Called it that this guy would take a W. He moved up. I still don't think the team's that good. He's up to number nine. Um, just wondering if maybe you have a concussion like Tua before you went to the waiver wire and decided to throw a kicker and a defense, def- defense in there. Uh, you paid for it. So I don't know what's going to happen this week because you made some poor choices in the old middle of the week, bud. So you're down at number nine. Number eight, call me daddy. Moving up from number 10 with an absolute upset win of the Muffin Stuffers. Um, You didn't beat one of the best teams. You you scored a whole 77 points, a whole whopping 77 points. But you did take that 77 points and stuffed it right in the old muffin for Kyle there. So you move up a couple spots. I don't think it's that big of a quality win. Um, Yeah, you got, oh, you have the mush brain. So Tua's on your bench this week. Good call there. You got Joe Burrow in there. Fucking smart move on your part. Burrow cut it up. Tua's going to be fucking doing magic tricks like Joe Frazier at the end of this year. Poor guy. Uh, We're going to go to number seven. Muffin Stuffers, previously spoken of. Got upset last week. Um, Who's your daddy? Luke? Is it him? Seemed like it. Uh... Spanked your lily white ass last week. You had Romeo Dobbs on the bench. Doesn't look like you're going to make that mistake this week. Looks like that sit start is straightened out. Good for you. You got whooped. You're still number seven. I've got you outside the playoffs and the power rankings doesn't really, that doesn't, none of this matters, by the way. Anyone who thinks this actually matters, you're confused. What actually matters is what the league ranking is. But for those of you, Pimptastic, who thinks that this like determines shit, it doesn't. Kyle's in seventh. If he finishes in sixth, then I think he's in seventh. Still going to make the playoffs. So, good for him. Uh, Number six, moving up with a loss. Jay, moved you up. I don't care that you lost last week. Scored over 100 points. Josh Allen looks like an absolute fucking animal out there. One of the top three quarterbacks in the league right this year, if not the best guy out there. Um, He's phenomenal. It's my show. My rankings. I think you're number six on a loss. So, congratulations. You've broken into the top six. Deservedly so. The team looks good. We'll see if it carries out to another week. Number four. Right? 
No, number five. I don't know how to count. I have fucking high noons. Who cares? Number five. I almost skipped myself. Number five. Me. Cowboy Killers. Slim victory margin. But I have Jalen Hurts, who I consider the number two fantasy player right now. I consider Josh Allen number three. We'll reveal later who I think is number one player out there right now. I get Mike Evans back this week. It's going to be a big deal. We need him back in the lineup because Jeff- Justin Jefferson has been a fucking hot fart the past couple weeks. Got Mike Evans back. Looking forward to that. So we'll see what happens this week. But I move up with a victory over fucking cruising there. So uh, number four, sliding down from the top spot, Cho Jugglers. You are the number four team in the power rankings. Um, DJ Moore. DJ Less. He's fucking hideous. He's had nine targets on the year so far. He's caught seven passes. Brutal in there for you. He's got a spike at some point, you would think, but Baker Mayfield hasn't shown that he's spiked many receivers in the past few years. Um, you're at number four. I don't have a ton more to say about that. Number three, Pimptastic. Pimptastic up from number four. King shit. Fucking fantasy royalty. Climbing the rankings. The guy knows how to draft. I'm glad that we showed him how to YouTube, too. I wonder the type of shit he's watching. He's probably watching, like, fucking painting tutorials or how to unclog a toilet on there. He's learning all sorts of stuff from fucking YouTube. I'm glad we showed him what YouTube was. I'm glad we taught him how to work it. We got him on here. He's watching the rankings. He's texting me. It's great. I'm sure Renee's angry. He's probably on YouTube till all hours of the night. He's new to it, so he's probably watching people play fucking Minecraft and shit on there. So, hey, you're welcome. You're welcome for YouTube. You're welcome for the number three ranking. Pimptastic. Fucking Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce in your two tight ends seems to be a good formula. Working out for you. Number two. Brawler. You are the number two team in the power rankings. Maybe the best wide receivers in fucking fantasy history. It, to have Cooper Cup and Tyree Kill on the same fucking team right now is absolutely incredible. You are a, a war hammer. I don't want to see you this week. I don't think anybody out there wants to see you any of the coming weeks. Uh, <clears throat> that was fucking gross. Team is disgusting. That was disgusting. Brawler. Fucking number two up from number five. Deservedly so. Deservedly so. Number one. My brother. Digsing it out of the basement. Fucking digs and boogers out of his nose during the draft. And somehow drafted this miracle team. I, This brings me immense pain. It's, it's, and I'm not going to lie. This brings me immense pain to have to do. It's fucking horrible. But Lamar Jackson, he is my fantasy MVP currently. That guy's been unreal. I think he's going to continue to be unreal this week. I hope not because I fucking pumped the bills again this week on the old fucking gambling apps. But I think Lamar might serve him up. We'll see what happens. Um, However, just want to point out every team that's been number one in the power rankings so far this year has eaten shit that week. So good luck this week, bud. You're number one in the power rankings. You deserve it. You're the best team in the fucking league. Despite having a loss, I still think you're the best team in the league right now. All righty. Before we move into the Swami's predictions for this week, final sponsor, All Madden fucking boxed wine. All Madden boxed wine. We don't drink this shit. What do you think? I'm trash? We use it for cooking. You want to make a nice piccata, you got to deglaze a pan, all Madden box wine. The most NFL of fucking box wines, all Madden. You want to be on the all Madden team, you want to make some all Madden dishes, you want to make your wife fucking impressed that you fucking can deglaze a pan, all Madden fucking box wine. All right, fucking take the bus to Flavor Town. Predictions. The Swami. Going into week four this week, we've got Call Me Daddy facing off against the Cho Juggler. And frankly, I think the guy's going to come through again. I got it 99 to 97. Call Me Daddy starting to spank people. He's making me nervous. I think he might crawl into the fucking top six next week. I think he's taking down the Cho Juggler. Upset. Upset special. Fucking write it in there, boys. Uh, We got Drew Peacock versus... Cruising, cruising to the 
basement cruising around fucking tracks in the basement with his little cars playing with him. He's gonna get he's gonna get beaten. He's gonna get beaten again. Ninety to eighty one. Drew Peacock's gonna get a W. So I don't know. Maybe he'll climb out of the bottom of this too. He's a past champion. The guy's won it before. So Drew Peacock ninety to eighty one. Uh, digs and get out of the basement. He's playing bear traps this week. I got him. I got him scoring 105 points, 105 to 89. Continuing rolling at that one spot. Uh, I don't think there's a curse this week. I think he's gonna win. Jay playing Ditka. I got J90, Ditka 83. This game might be on ESPN. The Ocho. It's, it's a brutal matchup. Jay, you are number six right now. I don't know if you win and you stay there. This To beat this team isn't saying much. Uh, two feature games of the week. Two feature games. We got Pimptastic versus the Muffin Stuffers. Uh, nice battle. A couple couple center, center top teams in the rankings. Um, I expect a big game from Romeo Dobbs. And I think the Muffin Stuffers 92-88 to 88 over Pimptastic this week. That is the fucking prediction there. And in the other feature game of the week, myself versus EH Brawler. Brawler 112, me 94. I don't know if I can roll through that fucking absolute terror that he is. I'm playing Taysom Hill at tight end, though. He It's a goddamn dart throw. He's either going to score two points or 20. We'll see what happens. He's my only hope to beat Brawler. Um, fuck Tyreek Hill for putting up 20 on Thursday. Boys, that's all we got for this week. Fucking 15, 16 minutes. That's all we're doing here. Power rankings, week three. Fucking stay blessed, stay yourselves, kiss your families, tell them you love them. Have a good one, boys. See you next week.